Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, play-ins. This is round three, one of the first round three games. Mr. Page and Talk Talk Talk. Uh, Mr. Page with Underworld, Talk 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 with uh, Old World Alliance. Um, so the situation is they both won one, lost one. So the winner of this will face one of the two and all guys and the loser will be eliminated from the competition. In the booth with me is Dimmy G who can take over while I eat my dinner. Hello Dimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, everybody. What a fantastic game of Blood Bowl we've got lined up for you. We've got the mighty Underworld, who managed to basically wipe out the dinosaurs in the last game, um, versus OWA, one of four OWA teams in the tournament. And I'm not sure how many are left in it, but I know one of them's definitely gone already. Uh, but yeah, we've got Talk, Talk, Talk. He's taken... He's got a dirty player halfling. Is that dirty player? Uh, guard tree, two guard dwarves, three guard dwarves. He's got a blitzer, two of the uh, old world alliance dwarves, the ones with brawler instead of block. I got. I hate old world alliance dwarves. They've all got. They've all got loner as well for some reason. They've all got uh, loner. So he's got a tackle blitzer, block catcher, and a block thrower. And then we saw Mr. Page's team last night. He's got two wrestle, he's got a juggernaut roger, two heads gutter runner, he's got a block thrower, a dirty player lino, a tackle blitzer. I think he's got like six snotlings, which he puts on the LOS, and then he's two goblins, three goblins. Apo, three rerolls, all the prizes, all the colours, all the sizes. And uh, yeah, so OWA on offence, and uh, we'll just. I think we're going to resume as we did yesterday with Mr. Page just knocking something over and gang fouling it. Um, which is pretty much the the way to play OWA, if you ask me. Uh, so wait for players to set up positions. Maybe he's just having a quick break. Make sure his coffee's ready. Because he's going to sit down. Oh my god, three swarming, disgusting, 14 player underworld. 14 players. Four. And it, this is the thing with the blockers not having block or tackle, right? It's, uh, they got armbar, right? They have got armbar, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the might, it, it might be a massive deterrent for uh, Mr. Page. You know? Turns out a skill that does absolutely nothing and brawler isn't quite as good as the best skill in the game and tackle. <laughs> He has got like, he's got like four guard though. And he's got a mighty blow troll slayer as well, which um, the rogue has got to watch out for. Rogue is only nine plus AV as well, which is uh, not the highest AV. A full power armbar. So if you if you fail a dodge, dodging away from armbar, it adds plus one to the armor roll, I think, or something like that. Plus one to the injury roll. I can't remember. It's plus one to the failed dodge. I think it's the armor roll. It's like mighty blow for failed dodges away from the player. It's yeah, not it's... even that good. It's not even that good. It's not even mighty blow. It's only like armor, I think. Is it only on the armor, is it? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like, it's so bad, I don't even know what it is because I yeah. just looked at it and was just like, <laughs> well, I don't care what that is. And I just disregard I errated it in my head. And, uh, yeah. Arata, Arata. Oh man, is this, all these snotlings have survived. He's um, two stuns. Is it one still there he's got a hit yet? Yeah. Blitzes with tackle. No armor break on the goblin. <laughs> Arata remote win. Mount Everest. Yeah, I can't remember. Like, armbar's just garbage. The only time I've ever had it is because when random skills were correct TV, and uh, I might have I might have got it somewhere, randoming the strength tree. But with with randoms in BB3 at the the full cost, the skills you, you're not going to see it outside of OWA unless somebody's uh, completely crazy off the wall. No need to activate the tree this turn. We don't want it rooting turn one. 
Oh, look at that. Doesn't get the knockdown. Brawler. Brawler. Turns it into a push. Snotlings are disgusting, man. I. Oh, my God. Armbar random on a rotate. Well, I mean, with the tail, it, it's... I mean, it's still terrible, but it's it's not as bad as without the tail. So I fully expect Mr. Page to blitz the Lino that's exposed himself on the right, drag it down and fat. Or he might go for a dwarf. Oh, he's going to go for a guard dwarf, I guess. Mm. Much more value. Right, I've had my dinner. Thank you very much. Um, Although you get less assists on it. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Do you want uh, Do you want me to go live, Dimmy, with the uh, with the go game? Live. Like, so you oh yeah, yeah. Discord. Yeah. Yeah, do that, Jim. Okay. Do that. I've just been like commentating on the wrong game. <laughs> yeah, you've been a little bit slow. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, guys. That's um, uh, that's a different game that's happening on a double channel. You've been a Disregard. little bit slow. <laughs> Disregard. Disregard. Errata, errata. <laughs> <laughs> Disregard everything I've just said. <laughs> oh man, he's got the dirty player as well. Well, this is a thick skull guy, so you know it's not the best foul you've ever seen. No, and, and he only gets a stun. Stop him, yeah. Thick skull saves the dwarf. A rat him or when? Um, I'll make one. I'll make one. <laughs> None fouled out. Thick skull did a thing. This isn't a great game for the tree, is it? The underworld, unless you can, unless you can uh, stick the tree on the roller. Yeah, which you can do. Mm. Yeah, I love the fact that the only redeeming factor of this dwarf, the only resemblance of a dwarf that he has, is his big skull, and it's literally what <laughs> saved him. <but. laughs> The thing it's is, like, Lucky, that this this let it, like this this roster let you get thirteen players uh, with two halflings. So I did quite like this roster. How many cars caused by Armbar? None ever, Jürgen. <laughs> Gets a KO. Didn't, didn't, didn't Rick Rick was playing right? Rick was playing off stream to try and qualify for this tournament at the end of last season and. Someone was in chat constantly telling us that every time a player dodged off one of Rick's players, it was dying and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, basically, you have to be Rick Reckless for it to do anything. Yeah, yeah. Rick dies don't count, right? That's that's beyond what normal humans can achieve. <laughs> you should just disregard Rick dice. They're too. They're out of the realms of possibility for mere mortals. I mean, I don't know why anyone would pick OWA when you can literally pick the best team in the game. It's amazing. Oh, look, Elliot and I both thought about Old World Alliance, and I know you mean I know you mean Imperial Ability, not Underworld. Absolutely, Jimmy. <laughs> but um, no, honestly, like the sneaky get dirty player catcher. The problem with putting him in here is he can just punch him, right? I guess there is the guard on the, on that makes it a bit harder. He doesn't even have one, does he? He's got a. Uh... A block catcher, isn't he? Uh, no, yeah, yeah, he didn't have one. But that, that that's the, that's what I liked was the sneaky get DP catcher and and six guard. And I think I think Elliot and I were both thinking about. I think six. it would have made a lot more sense with the old sneaky get, where you could just run up and keep fouling until it was a Kaz, and then run away afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Imagine that their flagship the glory event. glory days of sneaky. Their yeah. flagship event: five grand of prize money, and then it's just dominated by people fouling a hundred <laughs> times until they make a Kaz. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> that was uh, one of the best iterations of Blood Bowl I ever played. Oh my god! It would have been so good. That would have been so good. He's already separated his tree from. Uh, the, I think he might have just suicided his tree here. Yeah. yeah, I think he has as well, right? Because okay, it's only seven. He's strength seven. 
and he's got a guard, but he can just blitz this guy and then punch the tree, can't he? And then yeah, which is, what he's, which is what he's obviously going to do. He's seen the play. Mm. Are oh, you even even hit with Rossell to guarantee the knockdown? I know he's got an instant. Oh, I mean, he could have hit him with block. It wouldn't matter, would it? It's, oh it's yeah, because he has got his dwarf. He's absolutely crapped him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he should have went for the blitzer then, shouldn't he? Do yeah, I forgot he was completely literally shit. Literally terrible. <laughs> I forgot he was completely shit. <laughs> Disregard, errata, errata. <laughs> it's like they, they're just like pretending. Yeah. yeah, I forgot. I might have to put all skills on if I ever play. All oh my god, you didn't oh. even have to go foul. Now he gets to foul the guard dwarf as well. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my god. Well, this was a great game. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, have a lovely <laughs> evening. Congratulations, Mr. Page. Commiserations. Talk, talk, talk. Enjoy your tree. Oh, he, he appled it and it worked. He got the 37.5% to make the apple work. Look a dog. It's amazing, isn't it, Game of Vision? It's absolute. It's absolute. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's an absolute god tier dice roller. There's, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> ah, good question, punter seventy eight. There's the answer. This feels like a simul dicing. Wow, what simul? What simul about it, Chirgan? There's nothing simul about it. He's he's KO'd a snotling. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely nothing similar about it yet. He's got 14 players on the well, 13 players on the pitch. It's uh, it's looking pretty desperate for talk, talk, talk. Yeah, like genuinely, it is hard to say so. I guess if you could have six tree men on a team, that'd be better than six not ones. But it would cost yeah, a lot no, of TV. Almost as slow as a Black Orc team. Mm. Oh, on bar fails. But we get the animation anyway. Imagine if Wood Elves, right? Imagine if Wood Elves could get eight snotlings on their roster <laughs> instead of a tree man. <laughs> Oh, no, I don't want to imagine that, Jim. That sounds horrendous. Yeah, so I think Snotlings are better than Tree Man. But I guess on a one to one well, basis. Them. Yeah, what are you on about, Jim? Yeah. Well, I was thinking for the TV. It's A Snotling or A Tree. But then, but then you know, if, you, if you've only got A Snotling, then it does mean you have. You've got an extra, like, 100 TV in the rest of your team. 100? 100. 110 TV. So you've got, like, you've got two re rolls on top of your Snotling. So it's really good. It's the power. Is that with the... Oh, that's with the Troll Slayer. Mm. So he's going to have to be blitzing that tackle. Yep. Always be blitz and tackle. Or you Check could jump way. over and blitz... You could jump... Oh, it would have been amazing if he took the hit there with the uh, Dwarf Blocker and then blitz jumped with the Troll Slayer and <laughs> surfed the route. That would have runner. actually been amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. my God. I would have just absolutely loved it. <laughs> Oh, is it a six plus leap, I guess? Two tackle zones? Yeah, yeah, it would have been terrible. Yeah. I mean, roll sixes sometimes, right? <laughs> it would have been terrible, but hilarious. Gets the power there. Gets to put a bit of pressure on the gutter here. Yeah, I mean, this is actually going pretty well for him because Page has, like, you know, committed his whole team to this thing over here. Yeah, so. but they, they don't have tackle, Jim, and it's a two head scuttle runner, so even if you pinned it in, it just walks out on it. Yeah. Two plus with a re-roll because you know. Well, he's got air tackle, isn't he? So he could put the he could put the tackle over here, but yeah, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough for the humans. I wonder if he puts his own foul in here on the tackler himself. He might eh? do, yeah. He's got, he's got a, he's got a well, dirty player, halfling. If he was going to do that, then he should have put the guard in the bottom left corner so he could still get the assist. Correct. Yeah. So, slight misplay. Correct. 
And if he fails from the bottom square, he's going to give him the uh, chain push, the uphill chain push. Ooh. Which Rowling. is, uh, is. Get sent off! Yeah, I hate. Oh my god, for the stun! <laughs> sneaky git, take a bow. Uh, it's it's dirty git. player, isn't it? It's dirty, it's dirty player. player. Well, I mean, I think, I think sneaky git is better than dirty player, but I mean, either he, one he still would have got, got sent off, off anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even dirty player sneaky git would have just got sent off for a mm -hmm. stun. So a bit of a dicing. Oh my god. Bit of a dicing already for a uh, talk. This talk, is talk, why talk, I talk, never foul. It's just impossible to foul, honestly, Jim. It's just impossible. Yeah. It's just not possible. I mean, this is why I didn't go over the lines. You know, that was <laughs> this is the thing. You know, and Art said you can just you can just get sent off any first foul for a stun. It's pretty unlikely, right? One in twelve with sneaky get DP to get sent off for a foul and you uh, sent off for a stun in your first foul, but it's very eminently possible. Eminently. Eminently, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. He, has to, he has to follow that, doesn't he? Because otherwise his gut yeah. runner's getting smashed. He can, he can, he can re-tag, can't he? Uh, re oh, with a snotling, yeah. Yeah, he's got all well. the shitheads over here. Mm. Oh, Roger. No. Has a snotling. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Oh. Dead, dead, dead. Oh. Now he's, gonna double, now he's going to double skull, and the troll slayer is going to kill his gutter runner, and that's a massive swing. <laughs> oh, triple skull, sorry. It's the pout. Best big and guy in the game. Oh, thick skull again! Whoa. Oh my no, god. No, 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 it always says thick skull, but it didn't do anything. Oh, it always it. says thick skull, what? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Page with his never bothering to defend strat, I. I don't. Was that fixed skull? That was fixed skull, right? Yeah, that was fixed skull. Oh my god, fixed skull, Jim. Way. Way. Oh no, <coughs> no, it wasn't because he used dirty player to break the AV, no. Oh, oh. It wasn't fixed skull. Completely irrelevant fixed skull. Yeah. Irata. <laughs> irata, irata. <laughs> irata. <laughs> so he is just getting his gutter and is absolutely fucking smashed by Mighty Blow here. Zero. He could, he could, zero he fucks given. Uh, oh no, he's, both his guards are... He can put... Well, he could hit the wrestle. He could put the guard in, hit the wrestle, put another assist at the top and 3D the gutter runner with Mighty Blow. He could, but then he's using like all of his team to do it and he probably gets... Yeah, but then from... like he can do like a kind of... Uh, like, you know, like the free corner cage in the top right corner. He only needs like two players. I think you just 4D him and then, and then go and do something else. I think that's way better. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, it will we'll be fine. That gore is immortal. And the thing is, like, you know, it's Mr. Pid, so, like, you know, it's not as if, like, the, the one turn is, like, the massive thing that you have to worry about, is it? The thing you have to worry about is him fucking killing your entire team. So, you know, if you're playing Elliot, then, oh, well, by all means, go for the gutter runner every chance. But if you're playing, if you're playing Mr. Pid, then, you, you know, you've got to be more concerned about your entire, literally your entire team getting killed. <laughs> How many players has he got left at this stage? He's got seven, eight. Oh, he's got nine, but two of them are stunned. Mm. Drum roll! Here comes the big one. Gets a push. Uh, the plim plom push. Are we re-rolling this? Right, we are re-rolling this. Yeah, he's Surely. Got four, he's got four. Yeah, he gets the gets, he gets the both down. Go on, kill him. He gets them both down. Dead, Nine dead, more. dead. Killed. Oh, uh, killed. Not Does he have it though? No. That's an Apo it. Oh, he's not got. An... Oh, he has got an Apo. Yeah. Talk, Why has he got talk, four rerolls? Did they both get a reroll? Yeah. Talk, talk, talk. Got a bonus reroll and Underworld get four rerolls in this. Four rerolls. Yeah. yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. I mean, it's better them having four rerolls than Varag though. So I mean, yeah, there yeah. is that. Yeah. It is miraculously not nothing. Yeah. I mean, if the gut runner stays out for the one turner. I mean, there's there's a 25% chance he's not on for the second half, right? Yeah, yeah. I would have been tempted to apo that. It's interesting, isn't it? But the problem it's is, if you apo it, he could just foul you and then... Uh... That is the problem, yeah. Maybe it badly hurts better because then you can guarantee the apo. You guarantee him coming back and he's not getting fouled, right? Maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe that's a weird occasion where you actually would rather be badly hurt than KO'd. <laughs> yeah, basically. 
We're definitely going to blitz the Rogue here. Uh, the Rogue, the Troll Slayer, aren't we here? Oh, yeah, he's the only threat to this team. Because OWA are absolutely garbage. The only actual real dwarf is the only good player. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's really getting 3D'd with Mighty Blow. Uh, yeah. So the Troll Slayer is just a Troll Slayer with Loner, right? It's, yeah. Other than that, it's exactly the same, yeah. Yeah. Does it cost less because it's got Loner? Nope. Oh. <laughs> That's terrible. Does, it's, it's, it's a terrible there, team. It's a genuine. Is there team. Any redeeming like, thing? No. 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 Oh, and it's going to be a DP foul as well. I hey, didn't break AV. DP foul. DP foul. No, he hasn't done it yet. He's he's, he's there. He's, he's gonna. Uh, Mr. Page hasn't utilised the run-ups on these fouls either. Like, it's he's he's really got a massive hole in his game. Yep. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think everything costs the same. The human play oh, does the human. It's the human blitzer cost like five more. I thought they cost. Oh, the cost. I've got no idea, Jim, because no, as soon as I saw Armbar and Brawler, I thought I'm never playing this team. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, I'm never gonna play uh, this team. There we go, KO. Yes, the KO. No Apo on that one. Oh, he hasn't got an Apo. He used it on the tree, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Thick skull, no good. And it looks like an early score, unless he can Kaz 700 Underworld players. Oh, they're 85. I didn't even know they were 85 on humans these days. Wow. Humans. Shame on Jim. What, so they're cheaper on OWA? More expensive. 5k discount? They're more expensive. Yeah, they're 90 on OWA and 85 on humans. Do they, do they have animosity on OWA? Yes, they're just worse. They literally pay more for those. Oh play. my god. <laughs> oh my god. Guess the pow. <laughs> Synchronized commentary, glorious. Does, does it break armor? Yeah, I knew the, the throw was system. worse for no reason. <clears throat> the throw is free plus passing on OWA, isn't it? Yeah. The yeah. human thrower is actually legit, like the actual human thrower. Like the sure hands and two plus passing, like that is something I can get behind. Three plus passing with running pass is an abhorrent piece of garbage. <laughs> Wow, all were really shit here, but you know, both me and Elliot both thought about using them just for six guard and sneaky get dirty player. <laughs> but you know, did decide against it, but it's funny that we both thought of doing it. Like doing Jimmy it. Jimmy Fantastic same. shit at this game. Doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not up on the uh I'm not up I'm not up on the uh, ins and outs of fucking All World Alliance to be honest. Yeah, I um, <clears throat> I had I, had a, I did play OWA in the preseason when uh, random skills were were like obviously the right cost, and I had a kick dauntless tree. Nice. Yeah, best awesome. tree I ever had. <laughs> so he's gone here to stop the uh, to stop the surf right, and then at the yeah. end he can try the seventy five percent dodge off, and then he can hand off to the catcher if. You know, like if he can. Well, the thing is, is that he could just try the uphill surf with a. Oh no, he's not really in range, is he? Or well, he's probably just going to surf that catcher if he doesn't dodge. And if he does dodge and fail it, he's getting fouled, so it's so. Yeah, I think he's got to dodge to give himself a better, like, a handoff option, right? Because if. if he the... has to dodge, otherwise he's getting surfed, right? Well, I don't know, I'd rather it surf than he than he's forced me to score. TBH. TBH makes the dodge. Interesting. <laughs> it's far from over, but we know it's over. <laughs> I mean, Huge. all World Alliance are a bit shit. Huge dodge there. He won a game. Who did he win against? I don't know, Jeff. He might have got a buy, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Benbo Baggins and Hubbin Bubbin were the ones that got by, so he definitely won against a real human being. So, uh, would that be round one or round two? 
One of the two. I don't remember. Uh, talk, talk, talk. He played Doomadan in round one and beat him. Yeah. Who did Doomadan take? I don't know, Jeff. Uh, Dark Elves. He beat Dark Elves. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe mm. he just fouled him out. Yeah. Quite interesting. Hello, show me magic. It feels like that because each one of his turns takes about an hour. <laughs> who, who? Talk, 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 talk. I mean, talk, talk, talk's been pretty slow so far. They're both, they're both into like talk, talk, talks like a minute into his time bank. Page yeah. is like forty-five seconds. Yeah, true. Talk, talk, talks take. Well, he's taken longer of the time bank. I don't know that he's taken longer overall. Yeah, but he's got less players as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's got to think about what the hell he can do, isn't he? That's the problem. Yeah. Sorry, Jim. I've just got to clear up some uh, some disrespect in your chat. <laughs> some heresy going on. It was a fair ban. <laughs> Brilliant. Is he gonna blitz? Is he gonna blitz the uh, lineman to put tail on the ball? No turnover. Yeah. No, 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 it's uh, it's it's uh, it's the humans drives and they're, they're they're doing all right. Well, all the lines drive. Yeah, he's getting tail on the ball. Yeah, I would I would have put the corner in the the catcher in the corner to get the handoff. But or you could have just left him based, right? Because if you leave him based, he can't. Okay, he might get surfed, but he can't. He can't uh, get the roll get into the cage and make it anything more than a. a well, that bl that blitz is actually three plus anyway. No, he can just hand off to the blitzer. No, not anymore. No, no, not anymore. He's been molested by a snotling. <clears throat> molested. Well, he can he can just blitz it, right? Has so that blitzer step. got block? Yeah, the blitzer's got block. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, just three D blitz yeah, and three D, run into yeah. the end zone and hand it off. Yeah, it's probably good to be fair. What was that? He ran in here. Yeah, I don't know if he had another GFI. If he had another GFI, he should have definitely gone to there. Just did one GFI. Oh my god, Dan the man did one rush. And he's there. So he should have GFI to there one million percent. Did he pop dodge? It, no, it, but it's versus tackle anyway. But one million percent, he should have gone to there. Oh, now he's going to go to there. And he's there. punched him! He's fucking punched him! <laughs> oh my god, dog, dog, dog. That was terrible. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, he yeah, yeah, him, but that was... What a terrible block! Well, this oh, this is limiting god. the swarming now, isn't it? Because he's... Max, he can have his four, so yeah. I guess he puts two on the pitch and... He's got a blitz so, him. Gets the yeah, ball down. down. Was it a blitz though? No. Yeah, it had to be a blitz handoff. But it's not. It's just a 75% score instead of 3 out of 4 score instead of a 8 out of 9 score. Oh, he's going to blitz and just uphill him. Okay. Yeah, that's better than 4 plus dodge, anyway, isn't it? Of course it is. Who says, Jim? Duh. Have you ever played Blood Bowl before? Yeah, alright. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Jimmy, fantastic shit at this game. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, okay? I thought he couldn't because he was a catcher, but he was a thrower. Oh. Oh. I mean, nobody knows what any of these players are. They look like dwarves, but they're not. I've even got the thing on so I can see what they are, and I still didn't, just didn't know what they were. Like, literally, <laughs> I've got this on to see what they are, and I still just don't know. Well, I like the fact that the, uh, the Blitzers have the same colour, even though they're completely different races. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta walk up instantly. <laughs> oh Before the others rolled the the gutter rolled his and he got back instantly. <laughs> we were five, yeah. Imagine you could get like a uh uh inducement that instead of gave you plus one to your KO roll, it gave your opponent negative one to their uh, KO oh, roll. Oh man, that'd be pretty sick. Games designer dim, that's pretty good. Like, 
poison, poison bit bucket or something. I don't know. Well, <laughs> poison, poison drinks. Yeah. Well, poisoned orange, isn't it? Because you know yeah. everyone has oranges at half time, don't they? Spiked, spiked orange ball. <laughs> 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 Flat beers. I think he's only got tw 11 here. Three cast, two killed. He's only got 11. Four. And, oh, but he's got... He's got two turns left. Or three turns left. He's got three turns left to score, though, so there's no need for a one turn. Well, if he does a, a Jimmy Fantastic one turn, he might not have enough turns to do it. Well, hey! Thanks for that, Dim. <laughs> was it six, wasn't it? It was six turns? To do <laughs> it's that one. a long while. Versus Halflings as well. It like, couldn't have been easier. <laughs> K-Fog had done it first, and he's like, I used Halflings to make these. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> I just still couldn't do it. Nearly <laughs> yeah. <laughs> had to use the second half. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, only 11 players? Wow. Pathetic. Well, our underworld. Yeah. I mean, he's capped at 13. Like, he could get more, but. Like, they didn't come back. But it's still a decent start for the overall lines. They've still got 11. You know, so... You know what? He could surf. He could surf that lino with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if he if he did a GFI with a snotling, he could surf the lino on the right. Yes, yeah, that is a thing that you can do. Yeah, I that's disgusting, it's, isn't it? I'd do it. I'd a hundred percent do it just for the the memes. Although it's it does leave your gutter runner on the your right ogre on the sideline, doesn't it? But, yeah, yeah. I mean, just because you can do it, like, why not? Yeah. I mean, you can move others as well. It doesn't, it doesn't leave your gut run. It doesn't leave your rogue on the side, right? You can do it without leaving your rogue on the side because you can blitz this guy and then chain him into it and chain him. Oh up. my god, let's do it! <laughs> but it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of commitment, obviously, to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit. To be fair, yeah. When you mentioned the c word, I uh, <laughs> disregarded instantly. <laughs> errata, errata. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh, he didn't pick it up with the thrower. He's just gonna pick, no, it, he's up gonna pick it up with the cutter. Yeah. Why has he put his thrower there so his tree can smash it? I guess the tree's not gonna smash it because uh, he's gonna have to blitz something else. Yeah. If he fails this pickup, gets the pow. Perfect yeah. result as well, push into pow. Yeah. No armor break. Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it, watching Mr. Page again where he doesn't get an armor break off a, off a rogue hit, but there you go. Yeah, and he can't. Has he still got movement as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, the movement's six, they're fast. Oh, I hate rogues. I wish my rogues... I, I do like the uh, the backpack of Warpstone, though. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, there's some good... There's some good. There's some nifty customizations that people have here. Like is that, is that a customization, is it? Is yeah. It? I haven't got Underworld, so I don't know. Yeah, uh, Elliot put, you know, all the customizations on his gutter and all the customizations on his thrower so that you could tell oh, them apart, essentially. Did he get, is he playing with the knobhead troll? He is, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what a lad. What yeah. an absolute lad. I mean, he's going to win the whole lot. Like, I mean, how can he be beaten with a knobhead troll? Exactly. It's... Uh... I did see he has, um, like, I, I quite liked the customised Black Orc troll, like the one uh, World Sitar had it. Pretty... Oh my god, it's two minutes already, he's just done one blitz. Yeah. Man. <laughs> of course, Timmy brings the conversation to knobs. You love I mean, to hear it. Yeah. Oh, the halflings on the cage. other side. Yeah, this is yeah. this is completely unnecessary. He's uh, gut run is like movement twenty seven, and it's yeah. like... and he's dodging and he's sideline caging. Do you know what he could do though, Dimrath? He he's could move two squares the fling. and he could throw oh, the fling. <laughs> oh, let's go! I mean, he's, he's he has put the rogue in the right square. Yeah. 
That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. It would be truly amazing. That would be that would be a play of the month contender there if you got that. Oh, he narrowly avoids the armbar. <laughs> Saw his life flash before his eyes there. Oh, he's gone through the armbar again! <laughs> Schoolboy errors here from Mr. Pig. Absolute Dyson. I've avoided him! He's, he's, gone, he's gone through again. the tackle and armbar! Oh, <laughs> oh my, my god! god. <laughs> that guy's got a death wish. <laughs> what a fucking dice lord! How did he survive? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. How did he survive? Oh, he's gonna do the dodge to the foul. Oh my god, he re-rolls the dodge, gets the foul, gets the And the KO. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, really, anyone... dear leave? Oh no, that's fucking tragic. What? The, the, it has to land or it loses its activation, dear leave said. Right, see, so just GFI so you can move the tackle afterwards. Or move the tackle first and then don't GFI and then just lob him, lob him to here, dodge in, uphill surf. G -G. Why does it have to land or you lose your activation? Because it's bugged because Blood Bowl 3 is not the best video game anyone's ever Oh, played. right, so it's, yeah, I was going to say because I've definitely thrown a fling and it's not landed and it got up and carried on with its life. <laughs> it had a slight limp, but it was definitely fine. <laughs> slight limp. <laughs> 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 He's not going to go for it, is he? He might. I mean, he should, I think, because nothing else is stopping the score, is it? Or, or st stopping well, he might the score. get he might get a one turn out of it like, if he clever. I doubt it. I don't see how he stops the score either. Well, he just threatens all his players with armbar, and then he'll have to score. <laughs> He's going to three dice this goblin. Ugh. Oh, that's so lame. No. All right, he's doing it. He's doing let's, it. He's doing go. it. Yes. Let's yes, go. He's do it. <laughs> yes. No. Why would you do that to us? <laughs> Why? Is he just gonna throw a hand grenade at him or what? He's gonna blitz the. the he's gonna blitz the. Uh, no, he's just gonna lob him for the for the counter score. Wait, no, he's just. Oh, he's just activated him before the throw of the thing. Why would you do that? That's so weird. Filled anyway. <laughs> Oh, couldn't figure out the UI. Yeah. Oh, that's a good. That's a good point, Poggle. That's a good point, Poggle. Yeah. I mean, he had a one D though. If you made that. Yeah. Two D. No, one D's a catch. Yeah, you probably just couldn't do it with the UI. Because I don't know how you don't try to surf there. Wait, what? Wait. What? <laughs> oh my god. Customization is pretty great, isn't it? It's yeah. A little halfling in his hat. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> That's incredible. Amazing. Yeah, because he's just like he's just like he stood, isn't he? But he's at ninety degrees. Like he's not acting like he's laid down, is he? He's he's. This is just how he, he stood. Amazing. 
<laughs> Look, he's got his crossed arms. <laughs> the crossed arms are great. No, he's getting oh. out. No, why would you hit him, Mr. Purge, you monster? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, he's cast. He was going to stay over him. <laughs> but he got cast. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no flings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Knocked him out of the tree. Yeah, no wonder he, no wonder he got cast. He fell all that way. <laughs> of course. Mm. No fling. He's uh, easy. That's it. If only they had a movement eight catcher that could one turn. More chances to get his snotlings back in it. The movement eight catcher can't score. Well, he's got how many? He's only got two snotlings, so there's not going to be three sidesteppers on the LOS. Mm. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Talk, 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 talk. He's got no rerolls though, as well. He might get one on the kickoff. And the Slayer stays out, and the Lyman stays out. Well, he's got another. He's got another roll at it, yeah. Yep. What an interesting game. Hmm. Super interesting. The 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 halfling was brilliant, wasn't it? It was definitely the highlight. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is uh, dubious. Yep. But no rerolls makes it not easy at all. I believe that Mr. Page probably thinks, you know, one turns aren't real and they can't hurt you. <laughs> and to be fair, they're not that realistic, are they? Especially with, that, like, with movement 8 and no rerolls, it's basically hardly any chance. Hmm. Very sad to have no flings left though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really, really sad set of affairs. Mm. What's he doing here? What's he doing the hole? Why? Why? I don't know. Why? Why? What do you... Why? Why? Just, just <laughs> needs to move that blitzer in. Uh, it's, he pushes yeah. him straight away. Yeah, this guy, yeah, this this guy in. And then Blitz to the. You need another player as well, though. He hasn't yeah. got many players. He hasn't got, got many players. He's got some. Uh... Oh, he's setting up for the. Uh... Yeah, he's going right. for the. Uh... Timeout. He's going for the timeout, yep. Do you remember timeout bars? Uh, no, I don't, Jim. I'm not as old as you. Wow. You're also not like into sweet things, are you? Uh, I used to be when I was a kid. Loved the Mars bar. Mm. Loved the Mars bar. I, do you remember Chomps? The Tempe Chomps? No, I'm not that old then. Oh my god. And uh, they were like Freddies. You know the Freddies? Yeah, the no, I, of course frogs. I remember Chomps. <laughs> yeah, Chomps, Curly Whirlies, yeah. and uh, all the cheap chocolate my mum used to buy me. I like I was, boosts. Uh, I really like boosts. Oh, boosts are epic, but they're like I had a boost like not too long ago, but like now they're like, just so they're like overly sweet. Like yeah. whereas when I was a kid they weren't that bad, but like now it's just like it's like tar in your mouth. To be fair, it's probably because you like your tastes worse, isn't it? Yeah. As you get older, so you probably and smoke four hundred <laughs> cigarettes a day and <laughs> drink like potent black coffee. It's like. <laughs> I barely taste the Vindaloo nowadays, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> blitz. He's got a blitz. Can't do anything with it, can he? Well, he's got the uh, snotling free, hasn't he? So he could uh, uphill the tree <laughs> uh, into dead, dead, dead. Yeah. He could He could run next to the dwarf and then dodge out <laughs> and then die because of Brawler. <laughs> well, he could just, yeah, he could just go into the square that he's going to blitz him from with tackle, right? <laughs> He could do it, yeah. Or, or just yeah. tag the tackle. <laughs> <laughs> just tag the tackle, yeah. <laughs> like, he's not running away, is he? So, uh, Or we could find out in, uh, in a few days. Yeah. I 
I mean, this, he hasn't got a turn, has he? Oh, no, he has got a turn! Oh, my God, it's turn eight. Like, it, it was talk, talk, talk's drive, wasn't it? So, yeah, Mr. Page does have the last turn. <gasps> Did he get the gutter runner into range? The gutter runner could double GFI. <laughs> and then this is not Link and just run here, yeah? And then get double GFI and get pushed. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. You could just single GFI. The Snotling can just single GFI. Like, he has to. He just literally has to, right? That's just absolutely optimal. Is uh... Absolutely optimal. Yeah. Absolutely optimal is to run here. Here. And, uh... Well, he might be able to block off all the squares behind him, so maybe a double GFI. I don't think you should be using Time Bank on a turn this simple. Oh. Boy, howdy. Oh. Boy, howdy. Oh, there's the gut runner. Jesus, man. Using oh, this God, turn no. to get your gut runner smashed with tackle is a pretty oh, amazing use of a blitz. That's a pretty <laughs> amazing use of a blitz. I mean, this is, this is incredible. <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, like to be fair to Mr. Page, like his gutter runner has been invincible, so like it's it might be. Like, oh. To be fair to Mr. Page, this has taken him two and a half minutes, and he's achieved getting his gutter runner two or three diced with tackle. That's yeah, all he's not, achieved. This, yeah, this was not the best turn. It's taken him half a minute of time bank. Like, well, he's done it. He's done it to stop the one turn. Because he's got it screened off, right? But yeah, it's... there's no one turn. He was playing for the bloody air. There is a one turn. He's, no, he's got the blitz. Not. He's, he's got the blitz there on the goblin. Why oh, didn't he set got... up for it? Yeah, it's it's a very unlikely one turn, but I think it was still doable. I don't think it was one... very good odds. It, yeah, the odds would have been garbage, but I think it was still technically doable. Yeah, it was technically doable. So you block him into mm. there, and then you push him to there, and then he sidesteps to here. So you've probably got to put in those two first, and then he'll sidestep to there. Like, he, he, the sidestep is pretty annoying. Also, he powers him first. Oh, God, he doesn't power him first. <laughs> oh, so he's not going for the one-turner. Well, he can't now, because the gutter runner's there, and the... Uh... Uh, the wrestle and the thing, isn't he? He can't. He was going to blitz the goblin. He was going to blitz the goblin down, and then hit with the tree to push. Yeah, him no, across. I know, but he used his reroll. Why did Why did he use his reroll on that? He hit? didn't. Oh, he did. Why, where did he get reroll from? Uh, oh, he know. just. Oh, he's got to foul it. He's got to foul it. Oh, he's run away from it. Why has he run away from it? Have they? What is going on? Both down. Both down. No, he's what? got to foul the guy runner, Jim. Both down and no balls, yes! <laughs> oh, someone's seriously injured. Who is that? Is that the tree or is that.? It must be the tree. It must the be goblin. the goblin. The goblin the... is injured. Oh. oh, the goblin's just stood up. Did you see that? The goblin just stood yeah, up. Yeah, it's visual bugs, isn't it? He's still. He, like, he is Kaz, he hasn't got a circle around him, right? He hasn't got a circle around him because he is Kaz, but they just don't show it yet. Oh, right. Well, let's go. This game looks incredibly buggy, like, buggier than normal. Hmm. Oh, that. Hang on. Oh, Mr. Page has got another turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One turn was technically possible, but also he took away the dodges at the end. Like, he could have just 3 3 right? Do you reckon he's going to foul the tackle? Maybe. Take of the GR died. No, he did not. Only oh, did he not get. He didn't even get the 3D. He didn't even roll a power on the uh, on the hit to get to him. Stunned. Got oh. sent off. I'll give the call. Mm. Oh, he's out of five. So that's a pretty good result for a talk, 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 talk. There. I mean, he is one-one. Yeah, he's not one-nil down. Like not two-one down, and he's. Removed a goblin and a Snotling. I mean, he's 1-1 one, one after his own drive, which is pretty terrible, but you can just imagine that... It yeah, but he could have been 2-1 down if he, if Mr. Page had put the Snotling down, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. Like, he's not... And then he did kill a goblin and the Snotling got sent off, so... Yeah, they've still got 12... They've still got a team of 12, though. 12 players guaranteed for the Underworld. 
What a game. Yeah, if you can get an overtime, that's the thing. Is so if you can like if you can force an early score and get a counter score, or if you can somehow defend and obviously turn over, like he's got he's got win chances still. Talk, talk, talk. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. Don't say it's over. Whoa, it's a bit, a bit rowdy. Whoa. Armbar, oh my <laughs> god. I'm just waiting for Armbar to do something ever. It's so bad, isn't it? It's so bad. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> it's actually terrible. It's something like one in every 20 games it'll have an effect. Like, it's ludicrous. Probably not, probably more like one in every four. It's, I mean, it, I, it's a massive nerf to Kemri, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think you have to Baron Bucky just because he gets guard right like just just guard players but talk 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 is wishing he just had standard dwarves right now yeah I bet he is yeah I, I wonder I like can't, yeah, can't go on. I was going to say I just wonder how many skills more dwarves like for a cost the, the team of the same value? I guess you you're paying for movement, right? But like on that, what dwarves have like three skills each? Do they um, tackle, block, and fix skull? Block, and then, tackle, fix skull, yeah. So it's like they're getting like thirty-three skill. Well, I know the runners don't have block, and blitzers don't have tackle, but they're gonna have like twenty-five skills or something. Mm. Whereas this guy's got an agile, aren't they? I mean, the only thing you can ever play Nobs in real life and just beat them the to an inch the, uh, of their fucking life. The Imp Nobs looked pretty nice, didn't they? With like, you know, f between four and six guard and like a block ogre or uh, you know, a bludger, yeah, guard, yeah, and stuff like so. No, they're pretty competitive. I think the old, yeah, but I this think... is the thing. Like, stand Pope firm is useful. Base, base, one bar base. isn't. This like, you know? And then you got the I'm four right. wrestle. You Pope, got the two Pope. block. You got the movement seven. It's like yeah. And the thing is, is that, oh well, like OWA. Like obviously, if that DP has a different game and he pops off, like the DP halfling, if he doesn't get sent off for a stun on his first foul and he actually removes like three players then he's worth it but he's he's not been worth it he's, how much is that it's like what's the fling like 40 tv is it or something? 30, 30. 30 and then you, the, 30, yeah. you got the skill on it as well so it's like 55 70 so he's 30 and it's a 40 skill right so he's 70 Oh, it's a double as well oh yeah. my god so yeah 70 tv on something that just got burnt like straight away it's Meanwhile, meanwhile, Mr. Page was fouling every single turn and still has his dirty player line right. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing with them. They can just foul with like half their set. They honestly just couldn't give a toss about who they're fouling with. It's... This is uh, terrible from Mr. Page just put, sticking his roger straight onto the tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm then... not sure what's... Oh, no, he's going to... Solid defense. Yeah, solid defense is interesting, isn't it? Six open players. But I don't know why on earth you would put your ogre on the tree. What the hell? Uh, well, he's going to... I think he's thinking he's going to push the guard and then power it. Because he's planning for pushes. And then he's going to foul it. But I, I'm not sure, Jim. Yeah, and what if, but what if you power on the first one? Like, just blitz somebody uh, I else mean, so you're not getting yeah. fucked by your tree if, if things don't work exactly how you want them to. It's um, it's a bold strategy. Not what I would have done. But who can say if it's good or bad? I would just put a little snotling on him, and the snotling can get three deed. And you know, well, if he the thing is, if it, no, 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 put the slayer one to the left because then if the broker hits that, I guess he just hit he aborts and he hits the other guard. So I was gonna say if he puts the Slayer one to the left, the roger has to stay on the tree even if he gets yes. the first push. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you So, mean. yeah, but exactly then I was saying mean. that he's he's going to abort and he's going to hit the other guy on the other side. But then you could do the same on the other side, right? You could have them there. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. could have two so just, there. You could have had two there and one there, and yeah, that would have been perfect for trapping the roger. You're yeah. right. That's what he should have done, Dimrath. He should have trapped the roger and then slapped him with his wood. Yeah. 
Slap him in the face with his wood. Whoa. Interesting scenes. Absolute scenes. I don't hate this uh, pitch, by the way. This is, this, I don't know if this is Mr. Page. Yeah, because it doesn't have an extra row, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't have the extra row, and it's got like the end zone is clear. Yeah, the end zone's clear. The wide zones are like yeah. This is clear. this is like the most acceptable non-grass pitch. Maybe mm. even like more clear than the grass pitch. To be fair. Yeah, maybe this is maybe this is the way to play. Blood Bowl. I don't know. Three. Like the grey can be very straining with the white yeah. circles and stuff. Like it's again, it's just the contrast. I think the contrast of the really bright on bright is just really bright. <laughs> Bright on bright is really bright. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds terrible, but it's completely it's completely true. <laughs> oh, the bright on bright on bright. And now the rogue like, is yeah. gonna I mean <clears throat> if they just doled it down a couple of notches, I think it'd be actually pretty good. It's just yeah. a bit too bright, I mean. But that might be your settings as well. It might be your because you've gone like for brighter anyway, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Mine, mine is pretty bright. Mine's looking a lot brighter than like Mr. Page's. Yeah. So. But then you know the thing is, all the other pictures look worse. Like it still looks dark. The, the thing is, like yeah, this looks bright, but this looks like it's daytime, right? This actually looks like yeah. it's daytime, and every yeah. other pitch looks like it's bloody nighttime. I hate them. Like it's so weird. Do you know the one that the the one that surprises me is the black oak pitch, the brown. Mm. It really grates in my eyes. Mm. Yeah, the Rogers absolutely flipped here. I don't know what's. I don't know how he's got into this position. Yeah, I don't know why, well, why. You know how he just set him up there like that on purpose. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't like, know why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Again, the gutter is fully two D able. The the rogue is getting two D by mighty blow, and the gutter is getting two D by mighty blow. Who can say if that's a good or a bad thing? It's not. It's not. Great. <laughs> Fouls a stun guy. I mean, that's okay, I guess. The, the, I mean, <clears throat> like, it's the Roger and the Gut Runner are just massive issues here. Like, I don't. <laughs> I think, I think he'd, he could learn something from this turn. Yes, yes. Do not get your best players mighty blowed on turn one if you're on drive. Yeah. Don't offer them both up. To get smashed by Mighty Blow instantly. We'll talk, we talk, talk, first? spot how to do that. Oh, the the gutter, hundred percent. You just have to. Cause also, you're hitting the gutter with block, right? So like, you hundred percent have to hit the gutter first. So he's gonna. It's it's two and two. He needs to tag that wrestle. Oh, he just stands the guy up, doesn't he? Yeah, That's yeah. It. Stand the guy up, give an assist from a yeah. catcher, and then. Well, yeah, but then he has to tag the uh, he has to tag the snotling, doesn't he? What is it? It's two into one. Isn't no, it? no, no. Just just assist with your catcher, right? Your catcher can just come there, and then you can <coughs> blot ploppy in. whoppy, ploppy whoppy. No, but he's got to tag the snotling that's no, by the gutter. Right? The gutter ain't got the gutter don't have sides. Oh, it's because the assist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I feel like I'm devolving watching this. <laughs> I'm devolving. He's rolled a pow, he's rolled a pow! Oh my god. He stunned him, he stunned him. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. <clears throat> and now the big one. No, I probably do safe moves safe moves first a little bit. But we will eventually see the big one. Way. Dimmy's knobs. You want to move these two away before you hit, right? So that you don't push the rogue yeah. into them. Yeah, so. because you don't want the rogue getting away from the tree. Yeah. Although he's going to be able to technically anyway. Through the, Actually, uh, I guess garden. you don't need to move them because you can just put, punch oh. him back, right? You can follow and just punch him back. This is absolutely yeah. fine, actually. Has the tree got guards? So it's, what's, yeah. Is that a lino? Three, four, five, what is six. that? I don't, so I don't even know what throw he is. Throw it. So he just it's put the power. Under there, yeah. Does nothing. So there you go. T totally fine to get. Oh, I mean, no. I mean, it, it does. It does have value though, because like he's completely like the rogue. Like 
I don't see how Paige goes and rescues his Rogan now. Like it's uh... yeah, it's, it's tricky. It is tricky. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. I don't like committing your tackler to tag yeah. a match two plus player. I think better to keep him behind, out of danger, ready to react to any potatoes, any ill-advised potatoes from Paige. I think absolutely want to keep this guy back. This is fascinating, Jim. This is a uh, this is a lot of questions asked. It's super interesting, yeah. It is. It is. It's genuinely. I, I. I'm looking at this turn as Mr. Page, thinking, "What the flip do I do here?" Yeah, it's a head scratcher. You want to save your gutter runner, but that death tunnel is just death. Like you don't <laughs> want to go. You want to pull back like, and abort, but you don't want to leave your gutter runner behind. And then you want to kind of rescue the the rat ogre, but but how? Uh, I think the rat ogre's got to blitz the dwarf and then hope for a push pal, push them pal, like, and then and then we just want to like shimmy across. Shimmy. Yeah. The uh, uh, the first thing we do is run the ball all the way back to our own end zone. I mean, the, f rain. the first thing we do, Dimmy, is expend all of our turn time and go straight into the time bank. <laughs> Yeah, okay. After we've gone into the time bank and we run the thrower the hell away. Yeah. Like, instantly. Not even a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.58 of the time bank, we, we, move, we, we move the thrower back. Yeah. <laughs> but not a second before. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just run the thrower back, we screen in the middle, we do the blitz with the rat ogre, and then we try and dodge the wrestle and the, like, the snotlings. Yeah, it's pretty So we just want to reset, we want a hard reset this turn. No, we've gone oh. forward. Okay. We've gone forward. Gonna hit the catcher. Oh my god, he's gonna, he's, he's not. We've gone forward and put the ball into a Soho position. Has he hit the... He's, he's hit, hit the, the catcher, catcher here. He's hit the catcher. Oh, so he's going to wrestle the Troll Slayer. Wrestle the Troll Slayer, yeah. But he's got two counter assists. Oh. Yeah, but he's going to have three positive assists. Oh, yeah, of course he does. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, this... Is this ball surf? Stuns, stuns the, uh, stuns the yeah. Troll Slayer. Yeah. And that's how you solve the situation. Just, uh, just simply, simply stun the characters. Mm. Very pretty good solution, wasn't it? Just stunning the troll slayer, powering the, powering the catcher, and stunning the troll slayer. I mean, not good that it used a reroll, but might have been better than running back. Who knows? It certainly worked, which is half the battle. Yeah, it makes sense with the tackle. I mean, it's just still too early, like for this position, it's too early. Yeah, I feel like it's it's getting him stuck in a bit of a place he doesn't want to be. The rest he's of he's going to be scoring early, I think, depending on how talk 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 plays. Uh, and his rogue's just completely. His rogue's just gone now. Like that's it. He's he's never coming back. Yeah, he'll still stand him up to get smashed by mighty blee, mighty blee. Mighty blow, I think. Dodge oh, the dodge off armbar! Armbar oh and tackle! Armbar and tackle! That's Easy a pretty removal. good foul. That's a pretty good foul. And this, this DP. He's fouled like six times. Never been sent off. The halfling got sent off in the first one. All these armbar dodges, man. And the <laughs> 1D foul! Oh, God. Well, great solve by Mr. Page, wasn't it? There you go. That's brilliant. That's how you end that turn. Two and stuns. Two stuns, a KO. <laughs> he used the reroll, though, didn't he? Flip yeah. me. He did. You, I mean, you'd take trading a reroll, wouldn't you? Now, now though, uh, talk, talk, talk gets these other two players in, doesn't he? Which is nice. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's left a bit fucked, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, the arm patch out. It's genius. It's genius from Dimra. <laughs> I mean, it's just it, he's been so close to death on so many occasions. It's like <laughs> fucking arm <bar. laughs> I 
wonder if uh, Mr. Page will uh, realise after the game's been played that he was literally rolling with the chance of being absolutely annihilated by Armbar. <laughs> I don't think he'll ever realise. Armbar will just... I don't think anyone him. would ever realise, Jim. But <laughs> yeah, for it's Armbar. It's will... never going to happen, is it? It's <laughs> never going to happen. Armbar will be forever underrated. Criminally underrated. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's a bit of a tackler, yeah. I think what he could have done... No. Disregard. Errata, yeah. errata. I, I literally thought the same thing, Jim, yeah. Errata, errata. I just was like, I'm just bamboozled. Half surf. You can, you can chain the gutter to the sideline. Oh, he's got another hit here. Oh, That's yeah, that was pretty nice. nice, wasn't it? That was pretty nice. Uh, got myself an extra hit. Get that thrower back. It's not... He's all he's not right. He's all right, turn. It's pretty but now Mr. Page should 100% just smash these guys over in the middle and then run back. Save his guy. Like, he's... He might even save the Rauga next turn. I think he probably will tree. save the gutter and uh, yeah, punch these guys, run everyone back, save the gutter. Rauga. Yeah, Rauga, yeah, sorry. I quite like that follow actually in between the guards. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. So it's not Ling runs round, assist the wrestle, we hit that, and then we hit the. Uh, we stand the other wrestle. Hit that guy. Punch, punch. Yeah, and then we Take two put the players. goblin on the roger. Two goblins on the roger. Smash yeah. the tree, and then the ball can come back. Gutter yeah. runner can come back. We screen the gutter. Yeah. I've already made my mind up. Yeah. No, this seems pretty simple turn to play. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now we. Uh... First, we dip into the time bank. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's then only we got one minute. He's only got one minute of time bank left, yeah. and it's not even overtime. The uh, tree is just standing there to to keep the uh, roll grout the play. Yeah, not rude. So gutter runner stands first. Oh, of course, he, he first of all he exposes the gutter runner. Of course, that's uh, I don't know why we is, thought. You know, he's he's going to foul the troll slayer, isn't he? That's what's happening. Yeah, but I mean, he's still exposed him, though, isn't he? Like he's literally right next to a tackler. <laughs> Like, this is the definition of exposed. I don't care if you foul the troll slayer or not. This is a very exposed. Well, he's, he's got the, he has got the tackler tagged. Yeah. Yeah, good point, Sol. Good point. I guess he's not scared of the stun being the, the worst thing that can possibly happen to him. This is a pretty bad turn from Paige, right? Because, like, he got those two stuns and now he hasn't got stuns. And now he's freed the tackler to hit the gutter. Yeah. He's only got a stun. Gets away with it again. Uh... He's even got two guards. He can 3D the, the gutter with tackle. He can literally 3 3D. 3D it with tackle. Easily. Easily. And his right hook is just dead. Well, <laughs> we know that's not true. <laughs> we know that's not true. He can even push it into another hit as well. Like if he uh, if he tags the snotling and he he can three D blitz it there and then put it into there for a uh, you know put put the other guard in and then put him there and he could blitz, blitz him and chain him for a three D but uh, uh, sorry from from three D with tackle into a two D without but I mean he probably doesn't need to do it that way. I just, it just it just bugs out like this sometimes, J5. Yeah, 
3D, get to the PAL. Stuns. <laughs> I don't think you need to foul the gutter though, because it's not it's not winning the game, is it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not winning the game at the moment. He's he's got a whole team between you and the ball, so I just don't think getting one of you guys sent off to not break AV is worth it. I think you've got to try and fight his whole team. Hope he messes up and gives you a shot at the ball. So yeah, the guard coming in here is probably better than like putting both guards into it and then having the catcher free. Quite like that guard plug-in. Very nice guard plug-in. But it's Underworld you're supposed to. I mean, I would trap my gutter if it was Elliot, Because, you know, if it's Elliot, I'm thinking he's going to one-turn and win the game against me. But with this, it's... it's first of yeah, all, but it's I not, mean... It's not. It's, it's past better. that point anyway. It's past that point anyway, right? Because if this is Elliot, he already has one turn against me, and it's one one, and I'm trying to defend. So hitting the gutter here isn't that relevant anyway, right? Well, and he's he's not going to let you hit his gut runner, is he? True, true, exactly. So if I got the chance, I would be like, oh my god, I have to foul it. It's the only chance I'll ever get. <laughs> but um, it's really not that relevant in this game, right? The gut runner isn't that relevant in this game now. What's relevant is just playing good blood bowl and and trying to get the uh, turnover. Or at least stop the score, whatever. Like it's the the gut runner isn't that important for it. Like it's a great player, obviously, but yeah, there's no flings, so he's got no throw teammate. He's only got the uh, movement eight, Montana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there is there more heresy in your chat? Sir? No, it's just it, Jay Five's not being the nicest person in the world. I like I didn't mean it as nastily as that. Oh my god, he's dub-sculled. Most reliable big guy in the game. But look, he did the safe moves first. He did the correct thing, right? He did the safe moves oh, yeah. first. He got his screen. Better than me. Like, literally better than me. Do you know what I mean? He, like, I didn't do that versus Galentio. He's got his screen in place. So he's he's 1 in 36, which is the only way he fails. Very unlucky. Doesn't try to re-roll. And he's got, a, he's got a completely safe screen. Oh my god, gets KO'd. Yeah, he's actually got punished for doing a pretty good turn. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, at least he at least he's done this. At least he's done this part, which is what you have to do. So, fair play. Fair play to him there for for doing that correctly. We can. Uh... Oh, there's a snotling there. Bloody snotlings, yeah. ruining my life. <laughs> I was gonna say we we can we can actually chain the DP off the ball and then smash the ball, but we can't because there's a snotling. Hmm. You might be able to like block this guy and then blitz this guy and then hit him twice. I think that's that could be a thing. So you've got to you've got to power the snotling first, which he doesn't with his tackle. Powering a snotling impossible, Jim. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> Finally, is free the roger from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-four seconds in the time bank, man. Yeah, it's it's not a lot. It's not, is it? It's really so. He's not this slow when he plays ladder, I'm sure. No, I mean, but this is a hard game, right? Like, I, I took loads yeah, more time. Yeah, there's loads of money on the line as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I took loads more time in this than I do in my random dickhead ladder matches. He didn't re roll it. No! You can't re roll he? that. Why, why on earth would you re roll that? Yeah, you've got block tackle and you really want him down, but just take the free extra chance. Just take the free extra chance to what power What happened in. then? He just didn't roll He re-rolled it. He just didn't roll, roll, roll the power. He re-rolled uh, it because he wanted to do... I think he wanted to do my play, which is do that hit, get the assist in, block this guy, and then blitz him, which pushes him into there, which pushes him into there, and then hit him again, which pushes him into there, right? I think that's uh, what he was tinking. Oh, 3D is pretty good, isn't it? Makes up for lack of block. Oh. He didn't use any time bank last turn. No, yeah, that's true. I also just... I would have just hit with the rookie anyway, right? I would have just hit with the rookie to see if I could have just freed the tackler, maybe, and then get the tackle. Like, I hate the tackler not being here, basically. With the rookie? Here.
Oh my god, wow. the snotling is legendary. Nine is dice. Yeah. Nine dice. Rookie? I don't say rookie like that. You, you just said it. You literally <laughs> just said it. I didn't say rookie. Hit the rookie. I didn't say hit the rookie. What? Ooh, a blockless 2D. Uh, Doesn't get no the good. He's got no one over this other side either. Exactly. Like, this is why I like I would have rather hit with the rookie and then get your tackler. I always said he should have got the tackler, like the tackler should have been back there anyway. The, the gets needs to get this catcher out, you know? He needs to get over here. Get over here. Oh my god, another removal. Yeah, I mean that was a bit iffy doing that hit before he bloody Oh the catcher's blitzing. He's basing the ball for GG. Oh it's a thrower. It's a thrower, not a catcher. Is he going to double base? Yes, stun as well. Stunner, Where's stunner, well? stunner. Oh, you know, he's, I see the play. He's going to dodge the gutter runner out. Do all the GFIs. He's going to dodge out and lob the pass. Yeah. It's not even hard. He's got two hands. <laughs> it's not even that bad. It's, yeah. It's, and it's... Oh, and then armbar's going to kill the gutter runner. <gasps> oh, oh, my oh, my God. Oh, imagine. Oh, my God. <laughs> imagine <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna snake the dodge into armbar death. Imagine if he does. Oh my god, he'll be the best player. <coughs> I mean, this yeah, is really easy. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, two DM, and then you've got a two plus away, so you don't even get like, get armbar. Can he outrun? Can he outrun the uh, tackle guy though? Yeah, he's a gutter runner. I don't know how the I don't know how that works, but he's a gutter runner, so of course he can. Yeah, of course he can. <laughs> Oh my god. It's so stupid, isn't it? It's so stupid that he's prone. It's like, of course he can. Stuck an armband, can't dodge him. <laughs> and also, he can he can tag the tackler with the snotling as well, right? This snotling can oh, come over and just tag dodge the that. Oh, that'd be hilarious after nine dice of not getting power, and then he just walks through four tackle zones and just tags them. Yeah. This is actually a fucking sick. Sick uh, gutter runner free. The problem there's obviously the ball, but I guess you just dodge off, right? One, two, yeah, three, you just four, do the three five, plus six, and lob seven. it, mate. It's, it's not it even difficult. Down, like, it's really there's not. no other play. There's no other play. I, mm. I mean, there might be, but I don't see it. Like, I just... Yeah, and you can just fully screen with, with snotlings. <laughs> like, literally, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can put one snotling to there. That that snotling that's there can just come. Oh, but then he, I guess you you can just two plus away anyway. Yeah, you, oh. don't, you don't even need to do this block first. You can just two plus through. So stupid. Why is he stopped? Because yeah, he's probably working out where he has to go. He has to do GFIs. Oh, he's failed to dodge. Failed to dodge. Oh, he's screening he's the ball. Yeah, he yeah, was gonna yeah. screen. Oh, I thought he was gonna throw it to the guy. Well, I think he was gonna throw it as well. But one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, he could have still. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He could have still got there, passed it to him, and then he could have gone out there and he would have done that. But there you go. One in nine. Yeah. Never lucky. Brutal. Kill. Finally gets him. Mm. Yeah. Bloody one in nines. Saved his bank by failing the dodge. <laughs> yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he could have gone there and passed it to the gutter, and then this guy, this snotling comes up and screens him, and then this snotling dodges through. And also screens like it was a really good, like it was a really, really strong turn he could have had, but uh, didn't. <laughs> One in nine in the dodge. I mean, what can you do? You know, at the end of the day, I don't think there was a way to free it, like you know, like blocking here yeah. and stuff, and then ch blitzing chain off. I don't think there's anything clever he could have done. I think he just had to go for. I that mean, dodge. it just it. it... For me, just like, why even have the ball on the halfway line? Like, the whole drive, the ball could have just been in his own half. Right? Why like, even have the ball on the thrower? <laughs> yeah, there is that as well. When you have a guy like, who can dodge the And the, the thing is that the thrower's got block as well. So you want him, like, blitzing, like, almost, like... Yeah. 
Oh. Just go straight for the pickup, flip me. No, no risk no, mitigation no, 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 whatsoever. No, no, no. He, he did think about it for quite a while. Jim. <laughs> he did think about it. Yeah, it's because yeah, he, he wants to he, GFI blitz this right. He didn't just want to tag it with tackle. Yeah, he, do anything. he had a he had a so he solid to, he wants two to minute that. think about it. And he wanted to get the tree here, and he you know he wants so he wanted to do stuff and things. I'm just really disappointed with Armbar, honestly. I'm just so disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, he, he dub scold. He was really unlucky with the dub scolds, and then he was really unlucky with the one in nine. So you know he has had some yeah, bad luck to get here. Say, but yeah. also he did expose his gutter runner to getting pounded continuously, and he What's relies goals? on the loner block. Oh no, loner! It's game on. It's game on. It is. I hate. I hate. Honestly, I hate doing. If you're just gonna leave him back, like you know, at least bring him up, right? If you, I know he's gonna, G, I know he's gonna GFI blitz this gutter, but maybe you just shouldn't. Maybe yeah, but he can't, he can't blitz, he can't blitz with him, and he doesn't need the assist with the lino. So at least if that lino in between the troll slayer and the tackle should have moved, right? That's in between the troll slayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. Yeah, had to like he, yeah. like why he hasn't moved. Only, yeah, he could have come all the way to here, yeah, guaranteed. And then you also just move this guy as well, just get him up. And then, uh, I mean, the tackle guy, I can understand if he's doing the blitz, but yeah, then... he's definitely. I mean, he was gonna GFI blitz him all day, but in that case, just probably just start with that because it's the most important thing, right? And it was still failed, but uh, yeah, the rental is the one day. Yeah, well we've got this dodge off, and then the wrestle can uh, GFI 2D. Hello Olivia. We can't really say who's unlucky until we have a dice log. Yeah, like the dice log is pretty much pointless for saying who's unlucky. All the all the dice log does is is tell you whether the RNG is broken or not. If you have a thousand. 10,000, 100,000, whatever. Oh, it's a push. The plim plom push. Oh, he's made, a, he's made a square for the chain, but he's got nobody anywhere near him. Maybe. Dimmy's right, and this guy should have moved up, and this guy should have moved up. Can't re roll this, surely. <laughs> Tree on the gutter. <laughs> the fastest player marked by the slowest player. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> just giving him a one D blitz out here as well. Yeah, yeah, he did just give him a one D blitz out, yeah. Not even hard. Oh my god, this is hilarious! This map. Like you've got to do it right, because who cares if he if he uh, if he uh, roots? So you've just got to you just got to mark and hope for a double one. <laughs> Another removal. Centralize your tackle. Get him ready, just in case. Because there's still two turns left for, for Mr. Page. Like, Mr. Page can still just win this as well, by the way, in normal time. This, this gutter can just get it and fuck off and score. Look, he's totally in range. Like, this gutter is totally in range. No, he rooted. I'm going to imagine he was going to base the gutter. I'll be back in a minute later. Okay, okay. This guy hasn't moved yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he could double GFI and pal him. No, oh, he's still stuck. Didn't do anything unless unless you pal him and him. So not great. Okay, so we've got the tackle there. That's good. Oh, power snotling, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI.
or power the power the goblin. So you could power the go you could power this try and power this snotling and try and power this goblin. Yeah, but he, he only gets to here. I mean, there's no 2D Blitz out right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, double GFR, yeah, he could have just run all that way around. Yeah okay. I didn't th I didn't think he could go all that way around. I was thinking you were like facing stuff here, blocking and facing and stuff there. Yeah, you could have run all the way around and then from there one, two, three, GFI, yeah. Or just do this. Please don't blitz the wrestler. <laughs> Wait, is he blitzed? No, he's this is a blitz, right? So he gets the push. Yeah, that guy could have got there. There you go, one in nine. But it's not a win, it's not over. Don't say it's over, because Paige just has to two-turn with Underworld. One of the best two-turning teams in the game. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight players though. Only eight players. Page is capped at 11 if it goes to overtime. Talk, talk, talk is also capped at 11. So, you know, it's not over. Don't say it's over. <laughs> it's not over. It's not over. Yeah, talk, talk, talk did make a bit of a pixie. I mean, I didn't realize that he could lap around. I saw that that guy was in range, but didn't see he could lap around. So there you go. I would have also made a balls of that turn as well. Fair enough, isn't it? People can't. People can't play the best every turn, can they? <laughs> Poe one's no effect. What happened, punter seventy eight, was um, Mr. Page's roger rolled double skulls and removed himself. And then Mr. he still had a chance, uh, but his thrower one in nine the dodge away. So like he really did get pretty unlucky. Um, yep. How <laughs> do we stop the tree from? Running? But yeah, it was his fault that the rogue was on the tree, right? Like what he should have done was put a snotling on the tree, and then it can't do anything because it can't even knock the fucking snotling over ever. So it just hits, it just stays there, hitting a snotling and never knocking it over because it doesn't have block. And then your roger goes and like surfs things and you know kazes things and whatever. So like you know, that's how you deal with it. Not not punching a dwarf next to it and then getting nailed by the tree. And then eventually, I mean like the the the, the roger recovery turn was obviously what we had in mind earlier that he didn't go for but eventually like he did it and it was just a bit unlucky they are both playing for their tournament lives yep but i mean more so mr page <laughs> mr page is more against the wall being down but yeah every every match from now on is single elimination the the round 3 and the round 4 are both like there was like an extra round the first round was like an extra chance and now it's uh, everyone's playing for their tournament lives every game. <laughs> you missed a total eight minutes of time by being missed. Yeah, there was. They are not the quickest players, these two. Um, there's been a substantial amount. 
that time bank used. For some reason, uh, Mr. Page electing to attack down the side with the tackler and the sideline with the surfing threat. So I guess he's, go he's not gone the guard side. But, um, yeah. Indeed, lot indeed. Like you know, it's not it's not just it's not just a one-sided tail, is it? That's a pretty crazy kick. Yeah, nearly every turn he exposed the gutter. Yeah, nearly every single turn he exposed the gutter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the the catcher as well. Yeah, the catcher able to come back eight squares. Yeah, interesting. Mm hmm Maybe he's hoping if he sets up getting served that will you know be good. Oh my god, intercept chance. Intercept chance. Battling with the UI. Fails. The gutter rolls a 1, doesn't catch it. Flip me. Now. Talk, talk, talk. Still has a reroll. So this is going to be a very simple 2D into possibly 2D on the ball, maybe 3D, it depends. I guess it's 2D, isn't it? You can't get the 3D easily. You could double G a 5 for a 3D, I think. That seems a bit stupid. Uh, he made the pick up with a, the, he made the pick up with this guy, and then he failed the pass, and then he rolled a 1 on the couch. plus pass and fill the GFI out. It's it's really weird the way that the dice log is like really, really bad. Yeah, I just put him in here and then you could have put the guard in there which is probably you know, arguably better but I guess this this frees this up but then you could just put somebody else in as well the guard there is like something isn't it? This is quite good isn't it? Getting him around and not even having to do this hit not even having to do the blockless hit is pretty good and then he's got the catch it to recover so this is pretty good yeah not not having to make this blockless block is pretty nice actually isn't it pretty nice way of doing it really nice in fact that's just definitely the best way of doing it doesn't break AV <laughs> <laughs> This gutter runner absolutely refuses to be heard. <laughs> Problem is, then you then you like let the uh, gutter runner free, like the wrestle hit free, right? So you've you've probably got to uh, pick up with the catcher and then hit the wrestler. Okay, no, I hate this. I hate just not going for the pick up. Just a blockless block that did nothing, really. Didn't really like that. I think go for the pickup first. Got Black it. Blockless block. Hello, Dimrath. Yeah, sorry, man. Had some uh, issues. No worries. An eight-year-old board. <laughs> mm. Welcome back, Dimrath. So, what, is it? Is it overtime or? This is no. This is still turn fourteen because uh, talk, talk, talk. Had to go in early. It's still the first half. Turn fifteen now for Mr. Page. This was Mr. Page's drive, but he got turned over again. So there you go. And yeah, this is this is the losers bracket. So the winner will face a two and zero person, and a loser will be eliminated. Oh wow, talks, talks up the ball, wow. Yep.
Yeah, it was a short kick. Mr. Page had to run up, lob it to the gutter, then the gutter rolled a one on the catch. And then uh, he wasn't very protected. Even Elliot would think this is as good as over. Yep. I mean, it's pretty yeah, hard, though, but you, you know, you never know, right? Things could happen. You never know. He needs a scoring threat, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he needs the gutter. The gutter just needs to needs to like scoot up the pitch, and then this guy needs to one d him, and then the wrestler runs all the way around. I don't know, just dodges off and hits. So one d power him, and then dodge off, hit two d with wrestle, and he he scoots up the pitch. Yeah, he got on. He got unlucky on some key things, but also, like as as Art says, he put himself in the position to get diced. Right, like he he should not have put the rover on the on the tree at all. Also, yeah, you know, that, he, that whole start of the drive was questionable. Yeah, and also he didn't have to get his gut runner hit forty two times. <laughs> yeah, like even without the uh, perfect defense, it still wasn't a great plan. Yeah. I'm not even like that big a fan of using the rogue to blitz on the LOS, like uh, to block on the LOS. I think I'd much rather blitz with it and then put it where I want it to be rather than. Yeah, you're a bit oh, robotic, to... Dim. On the uh, was that the... armbar? Was that armbar? No. Yeah, it's wrong my thing. I'll, I'll... Thanks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he did foul every every turn and didn't get sent off. But uh, meanwhile, talk, talk, talk got sent off in the first foul. So like, you know, it wasn't it wasn't all one sided by any means. But yeah, he did have like two crucial things, which was the dub skulls from the roger and the uh, and the one in nine from the thrower. I mean, th that wasn't even really unlucky, to be honest. I think the rest of it was... Like, that's completely reasonable to roll a 1 when you've got no re-rolls. I think that's pretty completely... I think that, that I think rolling the 1 on that was completely reasonable. I think the worst luck was, was putting your thrower in the wrong square, like putting him here instead of here. So he could have just had his thrower here, and then when the bat, when it was a bad kick, he'd have been further. Wouldn't have had to use his rear on the GFI. Then he would have passed it, and he would have been able to catch it. So like he shouldn't have ever having to make that GFI because he shouldn't have put his ball right here. So like, it was a, it was like a, it was like a three turn, wasn't it? It was a three turn. He had a three turn touchdown to score. Absolutely no re like no reason at all to put the thrower down there. Just let him, you know. So. Again, that that was that was just bad play. Whereas the dub skulls was completely reasonable. Like that, that blitz was completely reasonable, and the dodge away was completely reasonable. And just got bad luck. But there you go, three-one victory for talk, talk, talk. And so talk, talk, talk will go through um, to be one of the two-one players playing one of the two and all players. Mr. Page is the it's the end of the line for him, unfortunately. So there you go. Commiserations, Mr. Page. Congratulations, talk, talk, talk. Thanks, Dimmy, who was here for a lot of it. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Mm -hmm.